Welcome to this edition of Backstage Pass with Leah Chang. I'm at the Guthrie Theater in Minneapolis where Viet Gone is currently playing through October 16th. The cast of Viet Gone features Amdre Gavino, Rebecca Hirota, Hyunmin Rhee, Eric Sharp, and Viet Vo. Part history play and part memoir, Wynn's irreverent whip-smart comedy uses flashbacks and bursts of rap music to share a human-centered view of the Vietnam War and its aftermath. When Saigon falls in 1975, Vietnamese refugees Quang and Tong find themselves living in the land of cheeseburgers, waffle fries, and cholesterol, aka America, an intoxicating adventure that leads them to question their futures both together and in their new country. Being a part of this production personally for me means that I get to tell a story that is very important to the fabric of this country. I know that sounds redundant, I know it sounds like everybody says that, but it's the truth. It's an immigrant story. It's all of our stories. And it's, it's great to see it from a different perspective uh, of a different uh, ethnic culture, in this case, Vietnamese people. It's, I think it's really important for people, and in this case, Asian Americans, to be able to see themselves and to just see themselves as people, because so much of how we are and how we show up is othered. There, there are so many aspects to the human spirit that you see in stories like this. So I'm, the reward is being able to tell a human story, you know? It's, a, it's something that's very prevalent uh, that we, sometimes we forget about in our daily lives, that at the end of the day, we're all human. For some reason, I can just show and express things that I can't express in words. And that's what's driving this play for me. Um, emotions are heightened. Storytelling is actually heightened. You might even be able to understand the agony, the pain, the hope and love that I'm feeling through my dancing. Honestly, more so than the dialogue in itself. In an art form that for many, many years has, has kind of coddled the older generation of of audience members, these are ways in for young people <laughs> to get really excited about theater. Because theater can be hip hop, theater can be <laughs> martial arts uh, fighting, theater can be sexy and fun and profane, right? It's not this thing that you have to get dressed up for in your Sunday best and, and go and behave nicely. I, I think just the opposite. I think it's, it's where we get to see that full breadth of what it means to be human. And that can be really messy. In this day and age where we are both incredibly divided and yet also in more meaningful ways trying to declare and claim our own identity, I think it's important to have these faces for them so they can say, hey, look, it's me. There's possibility there. I am just a person. And not just to be an artist, but also to be a person in, in this world right now. So that's... That's why I think it's important that we do this play.